Being on the back of a horse gives you the freedom to let go of everything that maybe you've been carrying around all day long. And the skill just comes naturally after you've been doing it for a while. It, it requires a lot of discipline to, to ride a horse, a lot of patience, a lot of dedication. Patience is certainly an asset being in the boat business. Riding a horse and being by the helm of, of one of my boats is a similar feeling. It's a feeling of freedom and absolute control. And that, that equals power. Hi, I'm Cruz Rutherford, owner of Glassstream and GSX Power Boats. I grew up on Panama City Beach with my, with my father and my mom. We had a 12 stable ranch. We, we spent a lot of time riding on the beach, swimming out to the sandbars on the horses. We spent a lot of, a lot of our summers there doing that sort of thing on the weekends when we weren't up at the river running boats. My dad, Jack, got me into boating. I mean, he let me sit in his lap and, and drive. And, um, you know, eight years old, you don't really know this, but looking back, it was just the absolute freedom of being on the water and, and having control over something that goes so fast. I bought my first boat when I was about 18 years old. It was a Velocity. It had a 200 uh, Merc on the back of it. Did a little bit of work tuning it up. We had a lot of fun. Uh, and Orlando at that time is where I was living. I was looking for a career, something I could do while, while I was in school, something that I could make good money at to pay my tuitions. My mother was actually in the real estate business in Central Florida and led me down that career path. My mom was one of the hardest working people you've ever met. And that is, that is one of the, her strongest values that I have gotten growing up. I made a lot of money in the real estate business, um, which you know, later afforded me uh, the opportunity to get in the boat business. I was thinking, I love boats and I, this is what I want to do for a living. I bought the assets of your sport. About a year later, I acquired the Glassstream name that was available, which was surprising to me because it had such a long history. That was in the late 90s. We had one boat that we're, we were building at that time, which was a 24-foot center console, which really now today is a 255. It, it evolved from that particular boat, but everything else was fresh tooling that was developed under Glassstream. Our plan in the early days were to build an affordable performance center console that was more of an SUV than it was strictly performance or strictly fishing. It was the best of both worlds. Everything has evolved and gotten bigger in our industry as it, as it will continue to do, so we had to, to make those changes and we were equipped to do it relatively fast because we did all of our tooling and still do all of our tooling in-house. None of that is farmed out. It's all done under this roof. This is an old GE factory. We came in, stripped everything down. I put a lot of thought into what I wanted because I really had a blank slate here. 
in 10 years, this place has changed a lot. Uh, and it's been real interesting and unique to see the, the developments and the progress of the company as it grows. Really, we got a great team here. These guys and girls that are out here building the boats and some of my best boat builders are females here. Um, they're, they're, they're the company, it's not me, it's not Cruz, it's, it's these guys and girls out here on the floor. There's been a lot of ups and downs in this industry. You have to be creative and you have to be able to make changes when the market changes. And that's exactly what we had to do recently. The GSX brand was a collaboration from our dealers and from our customers. They demanded a faster, a well-built performance center console that not only did it look good at the sandbar, but they look good out on the water running and some of the poker run and some of the go fast events that we participate in. The whole power boat, poker run boat theme is something that's been in our blood for a long time. You know, this idea is something we didn't just come up with. It's, it's where our passion lies, uh, and that's where we're really driving the company towards right now. I grew up on Lake Cumberland, being at the poker run, seeing it, and when I started at Glassstream, you know, Cruise is really about that lifestyle and wanting that product. And I'm like, listen, we can do this. Absolutely, we can do this. And we can do everything in-house, so why wouldn't we? It was her and I sitting down together, figuring out what we wanted to be, who we wanted to be. We knew that it was going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of you know, overcoming obstacles, but it's, it's been worth it. You have to take risks to realize the rewards. I'm blessed to have the people around me that can make these type of projects happen and make them happen fast. I see the vision that she wants for the company and it's we're like-minded in that. We work really well together. With my three years with working with GSX, we've really put a lot of attention on getting the most that we can out of their boat line. So it's been a lot of fun working with Cruz and, uh, and getting everything that, that she wants in a product. Well, my vision for the GSX line was to have the best performing hull on the market. We want you to know as a consumer, that's a GSX. It's different than anything else you'll see on the water. You know it by the design of our hull and you know it by the look of the boat. We have a lot of exciting things coming, bigger and better. Mackie, my little boy, of course. He take care of every jack one riding. Pretty out here. Yeah, that's a pretty nice spot. I noticed GSX Boats was made right here locally in the Wiregrass area in Dothan, Alabama. So I start doing some research on them and got to know Cruz as the owner and become friends since. Cruz has been very fortunate to reach such success in, a, in an industry that seems like probably dominated mostly by men but she has a drive to her. She has to go get after it. You know, she wants to make it happen. She knows hard work pays off. I think that's one of my favorite qualities about Cruz is she don't sit around and wait on it, she goes and gets it. I think that anyone in my position, male or female, has to work hard and be determined to be successful in, in order to achieve success in this business. It really never crosses my mind about, about being a woman. It's not something I get up and think about every day. I get up and, and I think about what do we need to do today to get on top? What do we need to do today to, to be better than our competition? What do we need to do today to, to bring new and creative products to the market? 
Drew's an absolute pleasure and a dream to work for. She cares about her company, she cares about her employees, and overall that affects the finished quality of our product here. She comes in, she knows exactly what she wants. Um, she's got a great attention to detail and uh, she just really doesn't take no for an answer very well. I'm driven to, to succeed and, and to be, be on the top of my game. She never settles. She always wants more. And that drive and that persistence, that's the reason she is who she is in this industry. You know, I always have believed that there are three types of people in the world. Those who let it happen, those who make it happen, and those who wonder what the heck happened. So you can, you can figure out which one of those categories I put myself in.